Hey, welcome back to Bruce with Beck on a lovely Wednesday football afternoon in December. Crazy foot got uh, the Ravens and Pittsburgh on right now, so figured what the hell? Let me uh, let me try a delicious stout. Hopefully at the moment, hopefully you guys are doing uh, phenomenal. Probably watching football as well, whether you're working or not. Um, taking a current break from the you know, daycare I'm doing with my, my kids to, uh, try this. So let's, let's see what we got today. Um, I have got from Untitled Art a collaboration with Angry Chair. Untitled Art is out of Wanakee, Wisconsin, I believe. And Angry Chair is out of Tampa, Florida. Uh, this is loaded French toast, Imperial Stout. Supposed to be very, uh, you know, French toast, cinnamon, chocolate, maple syrup, like, uh, pastry. I look, I think it's a little bit more than a month in the can, as far as I can tell. So, uh, not that it matters with a stout, but let's uh, let's check it out. I have, by the way, I have not had other than a seltzer. Uh, it was like a guava and I forget what else uh, seltzer by Angry or uh, Untitled Art because they're actually known for their seltzer. So, tried it, pretty good for a seltzer. I'm not a seltzer guy. Let's make that clear. Um, so, anyway, uh, here we go. Let's check it out. Nice. Uh, I believe we've got 11% on the Richter. Now, if you can look, see, it, do, it doesn't, it's not quite motor oil. kind of looks like uh, more, as far as how it comes out, like maple looking, which it should. Like so, like a soda, like a Coke look without the, all the carbonation and all that. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Let's see what we got as far as aroma. Yeah, definitely, man, that's not bad. You can smell the cinnamon maple right off the bat with, uh, yeah, I mean, it has it has milk sugar in it too, so you can kind of smell the sweetness. Okay, this is, uh, I've had this kind of ish, pastry stout before uh definitely nice taste i can already tell um not exactly one that you just want to be pounding right one right after another this is very maple french toast cinnamon uh kind of syrup uh mouthfeel is well it does have a nice uh hit uh i mean it's not overbearing with the uh the sweetness so so that's nice i don't want to just be drinking syrup i've had that encounter before and it's not good when you uh you, you have a pastry stout that's way too sweet seems to be just kind of a nice hit of it mouthfeel as i said is or i was about to say is uh i'd say like medium it's not it's definitely not i mean it's higher part of medium, but it's definitely not like a very full syrupy feel, uh, or just full taste. So it's nice. Uh, again, subtle sweetness. Definitely. You definitely get the notes of maple and, uh, cinnamon as far as the, uh, 11% on the Richter. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily guess this was that. I would probably guess maybe, oh, uh, maybe 10 max or nine. Definitely does not feel like an 11 percenter. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is nice. Uh, not, you know, not, not, not too rich and sweet, but you definitely get what, what it says you're supposed to get with the, uh, you know, the French toast kind of feel. Um. Uh, I've been informed, even though I'm not that, um, you know, I didn't, I, I had my own in-person over the phone chat with someone who knows Angry Chair very well, that they're kind of the, the hip uh, pastry style place in, in Tampa. So they don't distribute, they just kind of, you know, collaborate with people. So there you go. That's why I hadn't, I was like, I asked him, I'm like, I don't think I've had Angry Chair before. He's like, ah, yeah, but I, I, I know all about him. So Angry Chair, definitely, a, uh, you know, if you don't know about them, they're supposed to be a pretty legit pastry stout um, type of place, at a brewery out of Florida. Um, but again, this is the first that I can recall Untitled Art 
beer because all the other one was a seltzer. So nice collaboration. Um, anyway, I'll get, get to it. Um, out of a five, let me take one more. I already kind of have an opinion, but yeah, the, what you smell is pretty much what you get. It's, it's, uh, Real nice cinnamon, subtle maple, you know, nice maple syrup, but subtle, subtle on the sweetness. Um, I'm sure the milk sugar has something to do with uh, keeping it kind of, giving it a little sweetness and emphasizing on, on the, the uh, on that part of it. But probably give this a, I'll give it a four, four out of a, out of a five. Definitely a, uh, so, you know an A getting into the A part of a beer. So I'll give it a, an A as far as that. Um, I don't know what these usually go for. I got it at my local, uh, handy market for, I think it was like six bucks a can. So for 11%, uh, you know, alcohol and nice, nice flavor and taste. I'll give it a, uh, you know, definite A, a minus. How about that? I'll give it an A minus. So, uh, yeah, there you go. A beer, A minus value. Uh, that's not saying this isn't delicious. Uh, just, you know, it's for $6 a can. I, I, uh, I feel like there's, there's some that could compete, but this is, de it's, it's reasonable value. But right now I, I, de I definitely want to keep drinking cause it's, it definitely has a nice flavor to it. So if you're into the, the French toast type, I would definitely get into this. Anyway, uh, would love, if you like what you're seeing, love love uh, you guys to subscribe. Tap the like button, please. Any, all the likes I can get, I, I would love. And, uh, yeah, got a couple more stouts coming up. Um, so glad to be kind of coming on that side of the hallway instead of all hazy IPAs. And, uh, yeah, I guess go Broncos, go Buffs. We'll see you out there. And, uh Good talk. See you around the bend.